All right. Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you for your coming today uh, to the Institute on the Constitution Leadership Training. You folks are the cream of the cream. You are the best of the best. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you being here. We are so excited about the new materials that we've got. And uh, I'm going to be sharing with you today to multiple, literally multiply the message as we talk about so often. Uh, I want to open us up with uh, prayer and with the pledge because that's the way we open all of our meetings. And I always need to find assistance. I don't know about you. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for every person that's here today. And I pray that you bless them with understanding and with just turning and touching their hearts for the things that they need to know, the way that you want them to go, and help this message to be clear, help this message to go out and multiply, that we might spread the truth of this nation's founding and of the truth of you. And we offer up this day to you for your blessing and to honor you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, would you please stand and join the pledge? I pledge allegiance. other people, not just this material, but how to start in, to think and reason from a biblical perspective as we go over the lessons in the host and student manual. Now I got to tell you, this has been a labor of love, but it's been an incredible labor. Well, we've got all updated materials and we've got a lot of new materials. Our message has grown significantly as we've developed several new outreach courses and programs. What you're going to see today is the updated six or 12 week constitution course for teens and adults. And the reason we're calling it six or 12, some people get stumbled at the idea of coming to 12 weeks of the course. And so we are offering also the um, choice of having six three hour classes if they don't want 12 90 minute classes. And a 6.30 to 9.30 class is long, but it's not outrageous. And so it's just another way to appeal to people. If 12 weeks is too long for them, we can do it at six. Um, we have a one day seminar that Brian and Janice Snyder, who are manipulating all of our AV equipment here, have written called our American Christian Heritage for pastors and community leaders to get the message out to churches. How important is that? to get the pastors behind this once again. So please, as we talk through these materials, see Brian and Janice or me, if you want to know more about those classes. We are actually reaching youth. Yay, can anybody say yay? <laughs> youth is, if we don't pass this baton, we're done. And so I'm just so excited that we're finally getting to youth through American clubs, high schools and college age kids. They won't let us in the front door, but we're coming in the back door through uh, student clubs, which the schools cannot stop. And we have Liberty Council behind us to back the kids up should they have any difficulty with that. We have a five-day Liberty Camp for kids ages 8 through 12 that's structured like a vacation Bible school. Oh, those are fantastic. We have a Sheriff and a Citizen course, which Barbara, you push Barb Temple, Barb Temple, it's already in existence, but she's working on curriculum so that we can get this into law enforcement people to understand the Constitution. They all take an oath to uphold the Constitution, but unfortunately, and most of them will tell you, oh yeah, I'm a Second Amendment chair, or I believe in the Second Amendment, but if you get past the Second Amendment, they don't know anything, and frankly, they don't know much about that sometimes, and so this is a very, very needed course that she's working on. And we have the duty of the jury, which some of you have taken already, learning about the power of an informed juror. I mean, we are just hitting all age groups in lots of different places, so just lots and lots of stuff. Now, as we launch all of these new ventures, 
I want to give you a little bit of a history of our finances as where we are now because there's been a major change. You know, as leaders, it's important for you guys to know the inside scoop because you're part of the team now. The IRTC ministry was born more than a decade ago when Michael Peruca's law firm, Peruca and Peruca, founded and subsidized it. In the past two years, due to the Obama economy, the firm is no longer able to continue funding the IRTC. Michael actually retired from law and was elected as a county councilman in Anne Arundel County, Maryland. Jake McCauley uh, is an ordained minister and former syndicated radio talk show host, and he is our new CEO. He's only 35, yay. Uh, and with a lot of prayer, consideration, and deliberation, IOTC has actually stepped out in faith and become an independent, tax-exempt nonprofit that up until this year has never even needed one dollar of donations. Therefore, today our material costs have grown somewhat because we are no longer subsidized by the Peruca Law Firm, but the need for these materials has never been greater. Jake is diligently traveling all across America, speaking to liberty groups, homeschool conferences, and churches with this message of restoration while simultaneously working to grow our donor, student, and leader base with education through all of these new materials that I just told you about. And he is being very enthusiastically received everywhere he goes. You are here today, or watching this video presentation, as our partners in that effort to learn how to host and teach our flagship course, the U.S. Constitution, an American view of law, liberty, and government. Um, but even more important is the way that you're going to learn how to host and teach these classes. The host manual that you have in front of you, or the teacher manual, reflects that emphasis in the title, where it's called, on, not on the front cover, but on the inside, the U.S. Constitution and the Principal Approach, putting feet on the IOTC. In other words, you're going to learn how the principles undergirding, I'm sorry, you're going to learn the principles undergirding the Constitution, and you're going to be teaching other people how to think through those principles and ultimately how to use them to restore our republic. And this is truly multiplying the message in the most effective way possible. And it's what sets our Constitution course apart from all the others. You know, we don't just give a man a fish. We teach him how to fish. You're going to teach them how to reason through this themselves. And I don't know of any other course that does that. Well, these... <laughs> There are basically three kinds of people that we're looking that you guys are looking at out here today who take this leadership training. Uh, there's some people out there who are really happy and excited to be leading a classroom full of people. Others of you would rather die than do that. I know that. <laughs> but, but there are others of you who would like to lead, and you'd be comfortable leading a small home study or maybe a Bible or Sunday school class. This is a great thing for Sunday school classes since we've downsized them. Or there's also people who just want to learn more as an individual so that you can share one-on-one -on -one with others with the certainty that you're using historically and factually accurate resources and information. Whatever category you fit into today, welcome. Because you are part of the restoration process and I am so glad you're here. Um, in a book called Restoring History, Author Frederick Hutchinson described and summarized America's current development dilemma under a heading called The Present Crisis. Listen to what he wrote. He says, conflict between three mutually exclusive worldviews will take place during the first half of the 21st century, namely socialism and progressivism versus conservatism and Christianity versus radical Islam. Each of these three antagonists must repudiate the other two. Only one philosophy can remain standing in the end. Tolerance is not an option. I want to repeat that. Tolerance is not an option. Conservatism and Christianity are increasingly intolerant towards socialism and progressivism. As the evil implications of those doctrines become clearer, a radical repudiation will be unavoidable. Meanwhile, the jihadist Muslims hate everyone and seem determined to generate hatred in all non-Muslims. That's some pretty powerful words. But no, there's fence setting just isn't going to be an option as the days go by. 
This battle of moral views can only be won through right thinking, particularly as it relates to religion and education. Truth is our greatest weapon in our educational arsenal, and the God you serve determines the education you provide. In America, that God is Jehovah, the God of the Bible, and our education should reflect that truth. Well, how much is it needed? Let me give you three quick examples. In the 2012 elections, many people who, were, who said, said they were against abortion, they were against same-sex marriage, and they were against forced unionism, voted for Obama, thus supporting the very things they claimed to oppose. Second one, in an editorial about one of our IOTC classes, and I've got this with me, you can read it today later, a writer actually wrote this. He said, the Constitution classes being offered by the Springboro School Board have a Christian orientation to them, and therefore do not fall under the umbrella of diversity. Although no one is forced to take them, they cannot be tolerated because then people might understand the perspective of the people who originally wrote it. <laughs> Considering the current trend to ignore or reinterpret the Constitution in a more liberal manner, these courses cannot be tolerated. That's how, people, how some people think. And the third one, this is my personal favorite, a college student recently told a friend of mine that she loved socialism. And when she was asked why, she said, oh, it's like Facebook and Twitter and social media. I just love that. <laughs> Folks, our work is cut out for us. Okay? People like this not only don't know what they're supporting and what they believe, but here's the key. They don't know that they don't know. Okay? And this is where all of us step in right now. Calvin Coolidge once said that great statesmen are, quote, ambassadors of providence sent to reveal to us our unknown selves, end quote. Now think about what that means. An ambassador of providence is a kind and diplomatic messenger sent by God. Revealing to individuals their unknown selves is working with clueless or naive people to help them learn to think about truth. This includes those who call themselves conservatives and teaching them what it means to think constitutionally in order to defend America's heritage, not just supporting their form of conservatism. The reality of today is that people often allow emotions to form their opinions, and the media uses this tactic with great skill to manipulate public opinion, and this does not lead to truth or to principles. What we hope to teach you today is how to teach principles and truth so that these will drive opinions and emotions. Our new IRTC materials use the principal approach to education as we teach the Constitution, teaching people how to think, not telling them what to think. And this method of teaching is as important as the content of what you are teaching. Those of you who purchased a host kit should have had included in it a DVD entitled Multiplying the Message. Um, we're going to watch, the, if you did not, I mean, you should have, but I do have a couple extra copies available for sale that did not come, but it should be in your kit. Um, we're going to watch the first 20 minutes of that to give you some more IOTC history, but most importantly, to introduce you to the principal approach to education and how pivotal it is to this message. So, Doug, if you're ready, if we can run the first 20 minutes of multiplying the message, and that one's actually going to be behind me, so we're good to go. But that, and by the way, the Pierce chart that you were looking at, you may have noticed, ended at 2002. Uh, we have the updated chart in your manual up to 2015, and the statistics did not improve, okay? So we're still fighting that same battle. Okay, that's why the principle of how you're teaching is as important as what you're teaching. It's going to teach people to think, to reason, to break through the smoke screen, to take charge of the debate and expose the root problem and to fix it constitutionally. So let's go ahead and break into your materials. For those of you who purchased a host kit, uh, hopefully you brought with you today your host manual, which is the three ring binder, and the student manual, which is the spiral binder. I had some loaners go out. If you don't have one, please sit close to somebody who does so that you can follow along with them. We're gonna be really going closely over these materials. Um, 
Your manual also included a set of two discs, which has the 12 course lectures. And some of you purchased a bigger kit that had six extra DVDs as well in that. Now, for the training today, uh, we're mainly, we're just going to be using those two manuals. Uh, and I want to just offer a across-the-board apology before I start here. We literally have a one-room schoolhouse situation here today, okay? There are some people here who have taken the course. There are some people here who have already taken leadership training before. And there's even some people here who have not even taken the course yet. And so I'm going to go into a lot of detail. And forgive me if I sound like I'm talking down to you. I do not intend that. I really don't. But I want to make sure that everybody understands where we're going with these, with the details. So let's plunge in. Uh, go ahead and open up your host manual, your three ring binder. And let's go until we get to page, uh, page three, uh, at the top where it says overview of materials and how to use them. says about the manual, uh, this U.S. Constitution and Principle Approach uh, training manual uh, is subtitled Putting Feet on the IOTC, which makes us learn how to use it. You're going to be showing people how to use these materials and how to walk it out to restore our constitutional republic and to multiply the message to others. So here we go. Now, this, a CD came with your kit as well, and on that CD, uh, it's entitled, the 2016 IOTC Host Manual has your entire manual on it, in addition to other documents. And we're going to, um, it's recommended that you download that entire CD onto your computer for easy access, but we're not going to go there yet. Just one moment, let's see. Got till I get down to... There we go. Okay. It's, uh, that you and we're going to show you how to do that. Brian's going to do it, but not quite yet. Uh, the student manual layout uh, on the, your table of contents, if you want to open up your student manual quickly. And turn right to the very beginning. And you can see the, the whole overview there of every one of the lectures and the titles. Um, it lists the title of each lecture, and then each individual lecture begins um, with specific and general objectives, followed by a detailed outline of the lecture notes, and all of those are going to be reinforced by the video instructor as we go. And so the student manual follows those lectures really closely, and you've got tabs that makes it really easy to follow. At the end of every lesson, and we'll be going over this later in detail, and there's going to be three forms of questions, lecture, review, fill in the blank, test, and true or false. And the answers to all of these questions are now located in the back of the student manual, which is really cool. So if they have to miss a class, or they even, we even recommend you do some of it ahead of class. Uh, there's going to be homework assignments that are listed in there that correspond to every lecture, and they're listed on a separate page with the test questions. Uh, the assignments plus optional additional reading and video materials are available in three different ways. Some of them are going to be emailed to students. Some of them are going to be included within the emails as internet links. And some of them are available at the American View website under resources. And we're going to show you how to access those as well. Uh, the next bullet that we've got down, the next bullet heading is the host or teacher uh, training your feet manual. That's what you're looking at. This manual corresponds exactly with each of the 12 lessons in your student manual. And its purpose is to go deeper into each lesson to gain a greater understanding of our heritage and the principles that undergird our constitutional republic and what it means to be an American. 
With the use of the supplemental aids and methods, this is where we're hoping to teach the students how to begin to think and reason through the various governmental principles. The exciting thing is, what you saw in that DVD about how I introduced this method to Ohio, uh, the IOTC is now wanting this to go just nationwide. And it is growing like a wildfire. And so what you're learning today is just, it's been out there for a while, but it's all of a sudden united clear across the country. And the way we're going to do that is the next underlying heading there is the principal approach. You know, to accomplish getting this message out with how to think, uh, we're going to use the Founders Method of Education, the principal approach, and I'm going to model it. It's going to be modeled in every one of these lessons for you. You don't have to, don't panic. You won't need to know how to do this. It's all written out for you. Um, this means that a few pre-selected test questions from each lesson in the student manual are going to be used as a springboard to go a little bit deeper. These and other key teaching points are going to be labeled in your book as essential points. And leading questions to direct the students to begin to think and reason from a principal foundation, not just their opinions, are written out along with the answers. And don't, you know, we're going to go over all of those, a couple of lessons in great detail so you'll see how this works. Key words will be defined with America's very first dictionary, um, known as Webster's 1828. And I'm sure everybody here knows he was a founding father. And using this tool allows us a greater understanding of original intent, not to mention the fact that he was a master of 27 languages. Now, it's, uh, the note here says, please be sure to read uh, this next section of the host manual, uh, the principal approach to education. That's the next tab in your, in your binder. Uh, for a better understanding before you read the individual lessons plans or watching the first 20 minutes, you just did this, of the DVD multiplying the message will also be very helpful to understanding how important it is to follow this method of teaching. So what you just saw in the DVD is the next tab in your manual. That's all in there along with other resources and the updated peers test and everything. So we're trying to provide everything for you and you've already done that part. Okay, now the emails. This host teach teacher training feed manual also contains other instructional materials that are not part of your student manual. Uh, these are where the deeper learning experience is going to happen. At the end of every lesson, there are homework emails. Uh, most of these are printed in your manual. Uh, they're also located on the accompanying CD that came with your manual, and some of the longer ones are located only on the CD. Uh, the table of contents is going to list every single one of those that accompanies every lesson, including a notation as to which ones are in print and which ones are on the CD. Um, now, these emails are to be sent to the students with the corresponding lessons, as many will be discussed to one degree or another in class. And to make this user-friendly, okay, Brian, we're ready. Uh, the CD that has each of these emails on it is in separate files listed in order in which they're to be mailed and named after the lecture number to hopefully make it clear. So we're going to have Brian, uh, if you have to move to stand up for a little bit, we're going to have him actually load the CD so that you can see it on here. And Okay. And he's going to talk to you. He and I are both going to talk you through it here. I just want to mention that with today's technology, which is great for people that know how to use it, uh, <laughs> there are some of us that don't uh, know how to use it very well. So we're going to suggest to you that either you need to learn more about how to use this technology, or in our case, find someone that knows how to use it, and as you teach the lesson, they can help with the technology part. That's just a good suggestion. One of the biggest upgrades to this, to all of the IOTC course offerings that have been made, is an upgrade to include lots more technology. And we're from the generation that every bit of this was not easy to learn. And we suspect many of you find that to be true. So it really is important. We strongly recommend you have a partner someone that can help you learn to weed through the technology. But the good thing about it is the computer technology anyway
way. There usually are several ways to accomplish the same task. <clears throat> so we're just going to show you one of the many ways uh, that Ricky has asked us to do to, to put this CD that she's talked about into your computer. The first thing I'm going to do is open up what we call or what is called Windows Explorer. When, uh, as he's doing this, if you'll turn to page 6 and 7 of your um, manual there, that's going to have a complete table of contents. And I want you to see as he pulls this up and goes through it that you're going to be looking at that. And this is, I, I, I need to say, this is a Windows-based PC, okay? If we had to do it over again and I was 30 years old, I would start with Mac. And I, that, that's the only commercial I'm going to tell you. But right now we're too old to change. <laughs> So this is a Windows PC, and we use this feature called Windows Explorer all the time to drag and drop and move files and create folders and everything. So much so that we actually put the icon right on our desktop to click on Windows Explorer so we don't have to go through the start of the programs and where do I find this Windows Explorer. So we just have that right on here and we click, double click that and we open up window, Windows Explorer. And if you see here on the left, you see everything, major items that are on your computer. Well, right now we have a DVD drive or a CD drive and in that drive is Ricky's CD and it is entitled 2016 Host Manual. So right there it is. So right now I'm going to click on that. And if you'll see that on the right then, this opens up everything that is on that disk that Ricky went over. Okay, now I want you to notice that the first part, I don't know if you, think, you probably can't see it real well from here, but uh, numbers, until we get down to number seven. Yeah, can you open it real wide? Uh, the first six of these are just the pre-course material that we're going to be going over. But once you get down to number seven, look in your um, table of contents and you're going to say email lesson 1.1 article, Christians and Politics. Email lesson 1.2 article, Foundations and I think it's Principles. Uh, email number uh, lesson number 1.3, Becoming Statesman. Then you get into 2.1, 2.2. These are listed, as I said, in the order of the lessons that they're in. And so once this is loaded on your computer, all you have to do when it's time for lesson one, you send out, hey guys, it's time for lesson one, here's your homework emails. And then attach those three emails and send it off. And so every week, they're listed clearly here, hopefully, so that they'd be very user-friendly once you've got them on your computer and you can send them their weekly homework articles right off of your computer that you got off of the CD. So, the quick question. So, are the homework, are they after, like, are they, do you send it out before? We're going to cover that. Okay, we'll get there. Good question. Very good question, but we're going to get there. So, is that fairly clear to everybody how that's set out? So, you can take this and uh, what, what, what is commonly referred to as dropping and dragging or dragging any of these items, the individual emails, or Ricky's entire host manual, which is what, which is in a PDF file. That's just one of the types of files, and you can drag individual items from this disk over into your computer. A lot of people drag it over to somewhere in your words, in your documents folder. You could drag it over into your C drive. What we're going to do right now, just to be easy, is show you how to drag the whole C going to drag it just temporarily right over to our desktop, but it can be dragged to any folder that you would like to in your computer. So to do the whole CD, and again, there's several ways that you can do this. You can highlight all of the items and drag them over at once, but what I'm going to do, and if you, feel free to make some notes, but like I say, there are three, always several ways to do the, accomplish the same task. What I'm going to do is get out of the D drive that shows what is in this disk, and I'm going to go back to what it says computer. 
That shows on the right now, everything's in this computer. There's a, D, there's a D drive, there's an E drive, and so on. So I'm going to take this disc that's on my DVD drive, and it's a CD, and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to highlight that by left clicking on it. And then while the arrow or the cursor is still on there, I am going to right click and hold down on my right click. And I'm going to drag that over to this icon that says desktop. So if, the, if this is working the way we hope it is, I am dragging the entire CD and its contents temporarily and placing it on the desktop. I've kept my finger on the right click down all the time that I'm doing this. And now I let up on the right click and it says copy here. So I'm just going to click on copy. And now the computer is transferring the entire contents of this CD over temporarily to my desktop. You don't want to put it on your desktop, you can put it in whatever folder you want to. You can, we encourage you to create a folder somewhere in your computer, document, C drive, wherever, that's entitled IOTC, and you can drag anything that pertains to this course and put it in a particular folder. But right now, we have hopefully have dragged the entire CD over temporarily to our desktop. So now I'm going to close down this Windows Explorer, which is the program we used to do this. And somewhere on my desktop, in the lower left-hand corner here, says 2016 host name. I'm going to put it right in the middle. There it is. So I open it up, double-click that, and there's everything right on your desktop. And then you can go from there. You can drag whatever you go from whatever you want. Use whatever you want. Thank you, Brian. Now, that was probably very repetitious for some of you who already know how to do that. Right. But for those of you who don't, there was a question? Thank you. 
Yeah, you're going to have to make the modifications yourself because unless they make a whole new CD, yeah, the CD is going to be static, so you'll have to be thinking. You'll have to be making it as you go. Another suggestion was a Dropbox for additions and stuff. Um, there's all kinds of ways to do it. You know, like right now, I don't want to try and get into hung up on all the ways that we're going to work it through. But just know that it's a, a work that you're going to have to work through probably as you go and figure out what works for your group or what the people, you know, your, your personal computer or anything else as we go through it. Um, one size doesn't fit all. It just doesn't. And so, you know, we've got what we've got. And, if you can't figure out a way to work through it, um, I, you can call me, uh, not because I know how, but maybe I'll know somebody who can, I can point, it, point you to. Like, I would never have known that um, twice, so thank you for the information. But yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. If you don't know how to do it and you're stuck somewhere, just give me a call and we will work with you until you make your way through it, because every computer is different. All right, let's move on. Go back, if you would to that training page, which is page four. And let's move on down to the optional video class. Okay, the video class, this is what's one of the newest parts of our courses, and this has been one of the highlights of our classes. <clears throat> the students just love these. Uh, they are available online, and we're gonna have Brian step up to the plate in just a second here again, at uh, theamericanview.com. And he's going to take you through with how to find those. And once again, um, once you find them, we highly recommend that you put these also onto your computer. Put this link there so that you can go directly to them so that you don't have to go every time. So Brian, oh, you're so... Okay. Um, is, this, is this the home page? Okay. When you go to theamericanview.com, here we go up here, you're going to find the home page. And what you need to do, Brian, is scroll down to the bottom of the home page. Now, this is written out in your manual as well, okay? So you don't have to remember this. Under resources is what you're looking for. Again, this is written in your manual. And you go down under, um, where's it go? It's sub, yeah, supplemental assignments, click on that. Something booked. Okay. Notice it says optional videos free. Here's your supplemental videos. Click on that. And what we've done, if Brian, if you can scroll down a little bit, you'll notice next to you we've got, go down just a little bit. There you go. Um, with their number on the side here and titled, and then there's a brief description, how long they are, and what we recommend them for. For example, this is video clips to promote the IOTC classes. Now scroll down a little bit, and this one is also suggested for lesson one. Keep scrolling down. Um, this one is any class opener, and then from here on down, we literally go lesson one, lesson one, lesson two, lesson two, lecture three. They're listed in order of what we rec the classes that we recommend them for. And you're going to find this duplicated as we go through your manual. You'll find them as well. Now what I want Brian to show you how to do on this one also then is how to download this document onto, is it a document? Oh, okay, well then, okay. So for right now, um, going to the website is what we've got, what we just showed you how to click on it and get there. Um, there is a way uh, to get that, I know there is. But uh, we haven't figured out yet. Usually what you do is that you right click to open up a window like this on an image or a document that's on a website. And this gives you a choice to see save as, but I'm not seeing that option here. So we need to click on it. There we go. If you go to File, Save As, then hopefully you can go ahead and save this document. And 
and it's right on your computer again as a shortcut. You can just go straight to that instead of having to go to the website every time. Like I said, some of them are obviously more serious, but we do have some in there for the comic relief, if you will. And we'll go through, again, as we go through the classes, to show you when those are used. Let's go back to page 5, under using this manual. It says, class procedures and instructions are written out in great detail for each lesson. This manual here is designed to teach the teacher how to use the principal approach, and each lesson has a section Title, principal approach points to ponder, and in these sections, the principal approach teaching points are written out in such a way that you can literally read this manual out loud to your students. You don't have to know how to do it yourself until such a time as you are comfortable using your own words. The questions and answers that are marked as essential points often spur great discussion, and this is going to be centered on principle, not just prior opinion. Now we encourage you to make these lessons yours by adding other optional videos or current events if you want to to underscore the principal approach points. And you might want to include other important teaching points, but always, 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 please use the principal approach points to ponder and the essential points because these are the key to the objective of every lesson. Uh, one extra little point, the last uh, heading there, extra training materials in this kit. Uh, the larger host kit included six additional DVDs that you may have gotten along with a book called Law and Liberty. These are there to enhance your education, your education as, as a teacher, and also as optional resources for your students. Um, they are available for the students to purchase online, and they're going to be listed in their homework pages if they want to do so. Uh, you can also sometimes add these before or after class. Lisa led a class. And a lot of the students, she told them to come, what, 30 minutes early, I think it was, if they wanted to see an optional video, and like 80-something percent of them came. And so, you know, there's different ways that you can incorporate these into your class if you want to, or after class as homework assignments. Some people, even though they complain about a 12-week course, when you get to week 10 and 11, they're like, oh my gosh, we're almost done already? And they want to continue. And so you can even continue for 13, 14. Pam and Mike Summer here are, they have continual. How often do you have your meetings? Once a week. They have people come to their home for education for stuff like this. And so there's all kinds of ways to use those extra ones if you've got them. If you have any questions, uh, this will become clearer to you as we walk our way through it. But please don't hesitate to contact me. Do not think you are bothering me. This is my passion. This is what I do. 
And so if you've got questions or difficulties with it, there's contact information right there on this page for you to be able to get through to me. Okay. Okay, I showed you now to uh, continue on the table of contents. Let's look at that briefly. Your first uh, page until you get down to lecture one, we're going to go through that. That's all administrative stuff. It might not be overly exciting, but it's stuff you need to know. We're going to go over that. And then once you get down to lecture one, lecture two instruction, there's the titles of each one of those emails that is on the CD that we just showed you to send to people. And with the exception, I believe, of three or four of them, every one of those emails is actually copied in your manual. You have it. You've already got a copy of it in here. But because it's also on the CD, you can download, you can copy one page. You know, if you make a special note or something on a page and think, oh, I didn't want to put that on there, you can print a clean page, okay? You can print any pieces of this manual that you want to. All right, uh, your next tab is called Principal Approach. We're just going to blow right over that because you heard about that in the DVD. Uh, but you'll notice the last page of that is the 2015 Peers Updated Test. And you'll see that the results are still just as abysmal as they were for the public and unfortunately the Christian schools. Um, but the principal approach and some of the traditional homeschools, uh, Christian schools and homeschools are doing a little bit better job. Uh, let's go to the next tab, which is called the Pre-Course Prep. Okay, we're going to give you a five-minute break because we just dumped a bunch of stuff on you for this. So go ahead and give yourselves five minutes to get coffee, get a drink, go to the bathroom. We might stretch it to me. But get back in your chairs and we're going to really then get the pre course prep on the administrative interface, okay? So, all right, if you'll open up your um, host manuals to page 15, here's where we're going to get into the real nitty-gritty of all this. And once again, forgive me if it sounds redundant, but I just want to make sure we get everything covered. Uh, at the top is just the short welcome paragraph, and I've already told you guys how important you are. We can't do this without you. And so I'm just so thankful for all of you being here. Under the reminders, these are just three key points that we're going to hit again and again. Uh, this host manual that you are looking at is best understood and utilized with that CD that you got, 2016 IOTC host man manual and the Multiplying the Message DVD, which all of you should have. Uh, both work in conjunction with this 12, week, 12 DVD lectures in the uh, U.S. Constitution course that you just got in your host kit. Um, the second bullet, this host manual, as I said it again, is included in its entirety on that CD. Uh, the emails are saved as separate files. You saw that when we downloaded that for you. Hopefully you could see that so that it'll be easy for you to mail those to your students, just clicking them as attachments. And the third bullet, the class structure is going to be set out in great detail in every single lesson. And the principal approach is going to be used throughout these lessons, marked as essential points, but especially in sections entitled Principal Approach Points to Ponder. And that's where you're going to find definitions and leading questions to teach these key elements and understand and use the Constitution. And please be sure to go over those in great detail and allow the students time to answer. We will be de uh, demonstrating that as we get into the lessons after lunchtime. So for right now, let's plunge into... Um, the pre-course prep, all of the administration. <clears throat> Under instructor, instructor and student manuals, the list that follows here uh, includes both essential and optional teaching and learning materials necessary to lead this course along with the ordering information. So everything should be here for what you need to get the materials for your class. Items one through three are materials that are required for the course. Items four through six are short booklets that are only about 60 pages each. They are highly, highly recommended. They're not required, but they're all but required because they really are essential. Uh, item number seven is free, and that's the optional videos that we talked about and what big hits they are in the class, and hopefully we'll be sharing more of those with you as we go through our training today. Okay, the first three items. These are the ones that you have to have to lead the course. Number one, the Constitution Course and Host Kit. Um, there's a complete description and a picture of this on page 20 of your manual. If you want to flip there real quickly, keep your finger on 15, but go to page 20. 
when you're trying, uh, this is in full color on your CD, okay? Our manual is not in color uh, to keep the cost down, but this is in color on your CD. When you're talking to people about the IOTC course, if they want to know, gosh, what's it about? Sending them this, you know, one picture is worth a thousand words, one document with a great description and complete, you know, outline of everything that's included. So that's a good tool for you to have as well. Uh, if you need to order it, you can go online at the website, back to page 15 again. Uh, theamericanview.com, or you can call them at that 800 number. The second thing you need, uh, and your host kit uh, varies in cost from a, you know, just taking it as a student by yourself. You just get the student manual and the DVDs, I think, for $125. As a host instructor, it's anywhere from $150 to $250, depending on which one you get. Uh, and the thing to remember with that, I know, and most of you here have already purchased one, but the good thing about that is we just updated this, and it's the first time we did it in 18 years. So you made a good investment. <laughs> it's it's going to be able to be used again and again and again and again. So the upfront cost is still what it is, but you're going to recoup that over time. Second thing you need is student manuals. Again, the website is there or the phone number. Spouses and family members can share a manual if they desire. And when you go uh, to call in your order, um, there are discounts available for bulk items. I don't know exactly, I've got them written down here if you want to look at them, but they will go down to, if you get 30 or more, uh, they drop from 40, well, one is $45. Uh, by the time you get up to 30, they're $35. So they go down decreasingly as you get more and more of them. Again, I know the cost is higher than it used to be, but we talked about that earlier. I didn't even know the first five years I was teaching this that I was underwritten. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> So now we're, that's, that's why the cost is higher than it used to be. Uh, number three, Webster's 1828 Dictionary. This is absolutely essential for you to have as an instructor. Uh, it's available, as it says here, in hardcover, or it's available on a CD at the Foundation for American Christian Education. The phone number is there. Uh, Ron Cooper, Ron, are you here? Where's Ron? I lost him. Oh, I can't see you. Okay. Ron sells these at his store in Dayton as well at a very good price. And so if you're local, that's a good place to get them as well. Um, you can all... I'm sorry? Okay. <laughs> um, they can all, you can also get the definitions online, and the website is down there. So there's many ways that you can get that, but you've got to have access to that dictionary. Um, next page numbers four, five, and six. These are the optional, but very, very recommended. Uh, in lecture two, I've got them with me if you want to look at them today. We've included a booklet called The Threat of Islam to Liberty and Christianity, and the subtitle is Jesus or Muhammad, Who Brought Liberty to the World? This little booklet, well, I'll just read what it says here. Our conflict in America is not just with radical Islam. It's with the religion of Islam itself, which does not support our founding principles of liberty, equality, creator-endowed rights, freedom of worship, and more. The history and principles in this book must be understood to address this issue properly. Uh, what you can do with these books is you can just include them in the cost of your course so that everybody gets one, or if you want to, you can take individual orders at the time that you present them in the class. Because one of the things I found, I like to get them with the course so everybody's got them and I just bring them in that week and give them out to the people that ordered them. But most people, when they see it, if you give them the option, they want more because this is a dynamite education tool for people to understand. And so you can, we'll cover that later too about ordering extra copies. But that's, one, that's optional, but highly recommend it. Next one, number five, uh, is the County Sheriff, America's Last Hope. We've been including this one all along. Once again, uh, jurisdictional boundaries and proper authority at all levels of government. Only 60 pages long, so, so important. And so that one we include with lecture five. And then lecture nine, uh, Watchmen on the Wall. I'm sorry, lecture eight. Uh, wake up the sleeping giant of the church by educating pastors and the congregations of their Christian duties regarding government. Uh, again, you can get, um, Jake has offered us at the IOTC, um, if you order these separately, 
uh, you're still going to get them less than if you go to the website where they're available. He knocked the I think he knocked a dollar off of each of them. If you order all three of them as a set, he even knocked another couple dollars off of them. So uh, he's, we're trying to make this as cost effective as we can for you to be able to get these into the hands of all your students. Okay, and then lastly, the optional video clips. You got those for free just by going to the website. And you'll notice in really bold letters there, I've got, again, for easier access throughout your classes, be sure to download this list of videos onto your own laptop that you're going to be using in class. And take some time to view them in your class prep, and they really enhance the lesson. You'll see that as we go through this. Okay, that's it for um, materials, which you'll need. Now let's look at how do I host a class, how do I start a class? And the first bullet that we've got down there is where to host and who to invite to your class. I mean, you get real excited about these materials, but who are you going to share them with? Okay. Several ideas, churches, yours or somebody else's, pastors are getting more and more open to this, particularly if you present it from the fact that it's part of our Christian heritage. Uh, liberty groups and tea parties obviously are interested in this because they understand that they, if they don't already, they need to teach their people the Constitution. That's where, where it comes from. A neighborhood or a home study group. Community groups, Rotary, Lions, and Scouts. Some of these people are really, I mean, they claim to be American institutions. Well, let them know, and we'll show you how to do that in a winsome way that part of being an American institution is to learn the Constitution, the law of the land. Political groups, there's, you know, we, we are a nonpartisan education teaching. We are fiercely nonpartisan. However, take, offer this up to your Republican men or women's group, or to your Democrat men or women's group, to your independents, to your libertarians. They all need to know the Constitution. This isn't about right wing or left wing. This is about America and the Constitution, about principles. Number six, public or private school room or a local library. Now, uh, as I mentioned earlier, there's special classes now that are available for high school and college age students called the American Clubs. And there's more information coming up in your book here on that. But uh, the public schools are actually, um, well, you know this. They hit your property tax. You buy them. <laughs> They're funded by you. And so they are supposed to open up their classrooms to you after class time is over in an evening if you want to lead a class there. Now, they might not necessarily be willing to do that, just depending on how friendly the person you're talking to or the school board member is. But they are legally, they're supposed to open that up to you. So just so you know, that is available to you and should be at no cost because you're already paying for it. Uh, I'm sure there's other ideas too, but that's just some some of the many places you can hit. Another one I didn't put down there with at your church is these are great Sunday school lessons. We've got shorter lessons now, and I mean you can make them longer with more questions, or you can make them into two. But you could use these as Sunday school material. Okay, here's a biggie. The next one: what to charge students at the top of page 17. Uh, the minimum fee would be the cost of their materials. And right now, you know, your booklet, your student manual is $45 for one. Uh, and these books here, if you got all three of them, uh, he's offering, I think, for like $18.95 or something. And so you've got 45, that's like $65 plus shipping and handling. And so your minimum to charge the students would be at least $70 just for their materials. And if that's as much as you want to do, that's fine. But you know what? If you want to recoup your costs, for heaven's sakes, this is a college-level course. Don't feel guilty or wrong about charging students to take this class. Uh, at the IOTC, at, at the headquarters, they actually charge the students $10 per class so that when they come, they're paying for each class as they go. And that's in addition to their materials. So, you know, use your own... Um, ideas there. Uh, just a note, if you didn't make your changes already, uh, at the top of page 15 where it says what to charge students down on line one, two, three, four, five, where it says these, are, these optional books are presented in lectures 2, 6, and 9, that should be 2, 5, and 8. <laughs> and it will be in the new one. Um, then again, as I said, consider your costs, and I've got down here. If you have to rent your facility, 
Um, if you want to recover the cost of your $150 to $250 host kit, if you want to recover the cost of your Webster's 1828 dictionary, personal expenses of your time, gas, money, printing costs, whatever. If you get students that don't have computers and so they can't print the emails that you're sent or don't get the emails that you're sending to them, uh, we've had, I would suggest, what others have done is they've charged those students an extra $10 because you're printing all of that stuff for them. And it's going to cost you $10 to make all those copies. But again, your choice. But I just don't want, we don't want people to go bankrupt teaching this course, okay? We want you to keep teaching it and keep teaching it. So do what you need to do so that it doesn't, so it's not painful. Uh, planning and promoting your initial class. Who do you want to reach? You know, think through what your hopes and expectations are regarding these materials. Do you want to lead a small group in your home or church with family, friends, and neighbors or coworkers? Do you want to lead a larger group within an established organization like a church or a liberty group? Um, who you invite will also help you determine how you invite. And keep this in mind as we read through the options and the materials available. Now, Brian covered this next point a little bit already. One of the most important things that you can do as you're getting ready to lead these classes is to get a partner. Um, this is the single most important element of planning. Uh, you, you are going to be busy preparing and leading this class. The importance of a partner, of someone to assist you in the administration, cannot be overemphasized. Uh, I've, my administrators uh, take attendance, they take the money the first night the people come in and give the books out. But even more importantly is this next line. This person needs to have an understanding or a willingness to be taught about computers, cable connectors, DVD players, Wi-Fi connections, cell phone hotspot apps, or whatever is necessary to play the DVDs and to access the optional YouTube videos. Uh, if they have previously conducted a class, they could serve as a co-teacher. You could teach one week while they do the video stuff. They could teach the next week while you do the video stuff. Whatever works for you, but get a helper because, as you've seen, for me to try and continue to teach while Brian's loading all this stuff would really be a pain if I had to load all that stuff. And so you really need to learn that or have somebody who knows to do it. And the coolest thing about that is get a young person. They know how, <laughs> you know, and they'll learn while they're helping you. So you can ha have them help you out and learn at the same time, but very, very important to get somebody to work with you on it, okay? All right, what about marketing? Uh, here's some initial presentation steps. If you're conducting a small group or home study, just speak from your heart to those that you want to come, okay? Uh, you'll find some talking points below here in a moment. If you want to reach out to your community, you have a couple of options for a bigger class. First of all, uh, community or political organizations, like we mentioned before, your liberty groups, Rotary, Optimists, etc., they're often looking for speakers or for projects to offer to their members. So consider contacting them about a patriotic program, studying the Constitution. Uh, it may be possible that one of our IOT speakers could actually come to your group uh, personally. There's a whole speakers bureau, six of us listed on the website. I'm one of them, and I am very willing to come and tell people about this if you want me to. Um, all of them are listed, and their photos and their bios at theamericanview.com on our website so that you can see it's under outreach speakers, so you can check us all out and see who you want to come. Uh, second, um, uh, however, there is a cost involved if they have to fly. They can't pull that out of their pockets. So we'll talk about that later, too. Uh, second, you can introduce the program yourself. And we've provided the material necessary to assist you. And here's the suggested steps, uh, whether you invite an IOT speaker, IOTC speaker or whether you do a do-it-yourself, okay? Uh, the first step here, I'm on page 18 if you're following along with me, is find a key person from the group that you are approaching someone you know with a patriotic heart, or somebody within that group maybe that has already taken our course, or one of the board members, and schedule a meeting to discuss the IOTC Constitution class with them. Number two, once you're there at that meeting, briefly share what the IOTC is about. And here's our mission statement right there for you. Um, the IOTC, the mission statement of the IOTC is to restore our American founding fathers' biblical, constitutional American view of law and government, they believe that fidelity to this American view is crucial to the preservation of liberty. That's a nutshell of what we're about. 
Number three, share your personal testimony of how the IOTC has impacted you or share one of the many from the uh, IOTC testimonials. If you want to turn to page 21, I want you to notice. Um, here's just a very small sampling of some testimonials from people. Notice the one at the top of the page is from Judge Roy Moore. That's a pretty good endorsement. Uh, the next one down is a pastor. The next one down is an engineer. Bill, you may recognize that one. <laughs> the next one down is a teacher, a college professor, a homeschool mom. You know, we've got endorse. I mean, we've got so many endorsements. But what we've tried to do is just make a one-page document that had that kind of cut across the board and got a lot of people, and read what it, how it impacted some of these people. So you can share your own testimony or share one of those share those testimonies with them. Uh, number four, determine the best way to conduct. Uh, I'm back on page 18. Determine the best way to conduct this initial presentation at their group meeting. Uh, inviting an IOTC speaker will likely involve expenses uh, and the sponsoring group that the sponsoring group would have to cover. A do-it-yourself presentation, which the example is set out below, is going to be free unless you're going to charge for your presentation. Uh, number five, determine whether or not you can use their facility for these classes or if you have to find your own. Uh, if you don't secure a separate, I'm sorry, if you do need to secure a separate location. Uh, public school classrooms are available after normal school hours if you can find a friendly administrator or teacher. Uh, your church will often offer uh, a classroom for a once a week constitution class. Community centers uh, have rooms available, sometimes for a small fee, sometimes they're free. Senior centers have a room sometimes that they'll allow you to use for uh, presentations like this. But you need to be sure, it says here, of the availability of a TV, a DVD player, and Wi-Fi internet access when you're looking for a class. Make sure you've got all those things in place. And then make any necessary room or location reservations as soon as you have the dates determined for your class. And then lastly, uh, determine how to work with the organization to promote your event. Email, flyers, internet, Facebook, phone calls, social media is a great place to go, but face-to-face, one-on-one with people is the best of all. But if you're already within an organization, you've already got a group of people there that you can pitch this to. But this is other ways to promote it in addition to that. Uh, next is if you want to do a do-it-yourself presentation, Hopefully we've given you the tools you need here. <clears throat> you can use a prepared statement if you're not comfortable writing your own uh, to describe our program. Uh, and I've got in parentheses, in addition to make this presentation even more compelling, uh, if you've got a laptop computer, bring it with you if they have Wi-Fi availability because you can show a sh short video, one of these optional videos afterwards, and that's going to be your most impressive part of your presentation, trust me, when they can see that little clip. And we're going to do that in a minute here. Now, the statement that is in your manual here is taken directly from a sample course flyer in this manual as well. And I'm just going to read it to you. It's you know telling the person something like, again, make your own statement if you want. We're not trying to put words into your mouth, but sometimes you don't know what to say. And so if you need help with that, uh, you can tell them what, just what it is here. As parents and grandparents, you have the opportunity to touch the hearts and minds of your generation and the next. You hold the keys to the future. The Institute on the Constitution invites you to learn your godly American heritage and birthright. Join your friends, neighbors for this highly acclaimed 12-week Constitution course. History is more than dates and dead people. Join this class and see how we bring it to life and where you fit in. Invite your children and your grandchildren. Learn alongside them and make this a multi-generational experience. You not only learn from the founding documents, but you're going to learn how to use them and to restore and retain your freedoms. From the Bible, we'll explore the origins of history, law, and government. From primary source documents, we'll look at history through the eyes of our founders to discover true original intent. From a line-upon-line line study of the Constitution, we'll learn and apply the principles we find to modern-day issues of freedom and liberty. After you do that, that's just, I mean, that's, what did that take me? Maybe a minute and a half to say that. 
After that, you can follow it up by reading a couple of those testimonials that I just shared with you on page 21. Most of these folks will have heard of Judge Roy Moore, but even if they haven't, that it's coming from a judge is pretty uh, impressive. Um, and then, Brian, I hope you're getting ready for the next one here. Um, if you have internet access, finish with one of three powerful optional videos found at our website. Uh, if you recall, uh, when we pulled up the resources and the supplemental assignments at the very top of the optional video clip said that these three are for uh, promotional purposes. Oh, are you good? <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and pull up the first one. We're going to watch both of these, uh, the first two. The first one is an overt endorsement of the class itself. Let's go ahead and play that one. Is that professional or powerful or what? I am so excited about the new materials they're making for us. And then I want to play one more for you. That's obviously an overt, this is what the course is about. I want you to hear, will we be ignorant or free? Okay, that's another one that you can use. As you can see, those, putting that in on your lap, laptop, that was only two minutes long. The other one was three minutes long. What a short time. Just as we set out here, give your little spiel about what it's about. Give a couple of testimonials. Plug in one of those. Your presentation's done in 15 minutes, less than 15 minutes, and it's powerful. And so that's one way to draw people to these classes. Okay, we're getting close to lunchtime. Okay, uh, and then lastly, after you've done that, if you're at a group setting, Make sure that you've got a sign-up sheet with you to pass around then for people to go ahead and put their name and contact information for you to be able to get back to them with when the class is going to be. Uh, let's see. Now let's go down. Um, is that fairly clear? And again, you can have one of us from the IOTC come and speak, but you would have to pay traveling expenses for us with that. This other one you can do for yourself for free. Just figure out what works out best for you. Uh, are there any questions at this point before we get into the last section here? Things. If you would get those uh, little videos on your laptop, would you be able to, or would you not want us to, or would you be able to actually, is what I wanted to know, uh, put them on Facebook? They're YouTubes. Yeah, they're YouTubes. And so, I mean, you can send them anywhere to anybody for anything. That's right. They're, there's uh, no copyright issues. And so, yes, you can, they're tools. I mean, they're wonderful tools to be able to send out for education and getting through to other people. That's right. Very good.